while I was buying this at 7-Eleven, some like really rough like handlebar mustache, <laughs> somebody's stepdad kind of guy, and he's like, he goes, huh, New York seltzer, haven't seen that, man, I used to drink that in the 80s after I was hung over, <laughs> right, like that, and I was like, cool, he's like, you? And I said, yeah, my parents drank it, and then he's like, oh, because I offended him. There we go. Because I think he was trying to like, you know, let, Big me, buds. let me know he was feeling you whatever. Just, you could have just been like, awesome, I was, yeah, it's delicious. I, I don't know, I'm looking at he had like Zumba pants on and <laughs> and a bar mustache and like he cut He's his still own wearing sleeves Zumba off. pants. That guy's he awesome. He cut his sleeves off his Brooks and Dunn T-shirt. You know. That guy's wicked. <laughs>
Um, but we can't. I, I went to the store to buy more, and there wasn't any. So it might have been a very short-lived re revamp. Do you? I don't know if you recall, but there was also one called Sarasota. No. And Sarasota had a flamingo on it. I believe it was a flamingo. Um, this was the competitor mm. of Sarasota. So it was like either you drank New York seltzer, which we did in our family, or the neighbors, the mm. waltzes, drank Sarasota. No. Yeah. Battle of the neighborhood. Battle of the neighborhood. So I'm really excited this is back. Mm -hmm. Um, if you do remember this, please let us know which one that you preferred. What was your favorite flavor? Because yeah. there's more than just these. Right now, all we have for flavors is in Canada is um, raspberry. Mm -hmm. Black cherry. Root beer. Root beer. There also was a cream soda, and we'll get into that. But we both despise cream soda. Yeah, we don't like... I'm sorry if I... it's your thing, but no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even a and I remember when a and brought up their cream soda, I was like... It tastes like Crunchy Bar in liquid formation. I'm not a huge fan. Cream soda reminds me of ODing on too much candy and marshmallows at a summer yeah. party yeah. and throwing up. Yeah. And that's what Absolutely. cream soda tastes like. Absolutely. It's, it's cotton candy throw up. That's yeah. exactly what cream soda is. So yeah. I'm not sorry for all you people who like cream soda. No. If you're angry with me, bring it on. Although I will give them, I'll Comment give them, below. I will give them a little bit of credit. The New York Seltzer cream soda is not pink. It is clear. Which... I've been told is the original way cream soda was supposed to be served. Yeah, it was clear. Because they would pour it over cream. Okay. Are we getting to, like, what else do you want to talk I, You know what I remember this? This reminds me of going to Fun Mountain, mm -hmm. which is a water slide park here in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Because okay. mm -hmm. um, it was the 80s, and that's what you did. And skateboarding wasn't even cool yet. Like, mm -hmm. it was kind of cool. But not to the extent it got to. I'm drinking some of these. Well, the the shape of these bottles reminds me of being a kid because when I was little, all the grown ups beer bottles were yeah, stubbies, that's true. and all the grown ups grown ups pops were stubbies, and yeah, anything that as a kid you weren't allowed to touch, like you know, cough syrup, stubby bottle. Yeah, stubbies are awesome because they make me remind me of mm -hmm. um, uh, the great Canadian. The Great Outdoors. Oh, no, yeah. No, not Great Outdoors. Sorry. This is horrible. I'm mad at myself right now. Because Rewind. this is like this is like my childhood. Yeah. This is like uh, the Great White North, which is Bob and Doug McKenzie. <laughs> One of the reasons why I got into comedy. Yeah. They were, all right, no way. Mm -hmm. You're lying. Take off, eh? No you way, I, eh? I had a drama teacher. You are. I had a drama teacher mm -hmm. who was a PA on Second City, the SCTV, when they were shooting it in Edmonton. Wow. And um, cool. one of their, I can't remember which toque, but one of their toques was his. What? Yeah. Get out of and here. And they were like, hey, can we use this for the sketch? And he was like, oh, okay, I kind of need it back. And then they're like, yeah, you're not getting it back. So it was his toque. It's probably, it was probably um, Rick Moranis' toque, because Rick Moranis' toque seemed like just the guy's toque. Yeah. And had a Canadian album in the front. And yeah. it was just like this green, like, they right. must, like, store that. They're doing, actually, a benefit, right? They're doing yeah, a benefit. Yeah, they're doing in, a, a reunion show. In, at Second City. In Toronto. It's a, yeah, reunion, like, what is it? 40 year reunion? No, no, no. I don't know what it is, but it, I think it's actually for a benefit to raise money for a, an actual good cause. Maybe Gilda's Not just Club. to, yeah, maybe Gilda's Club. Yeah. Gilda's Club did a lot of that stuff. Anyway, moving on. I love Bob and Doug McKenzie, but that's not what this is about. This is about New York South. I guess mm -hmm. it's about our memories around yeah. it. What are your memories around it? Um, I'm going to drink this one. It is raspberry. Sorry, I cut you off. I'm going to ask you a question, but I'm going to let you answer it. Aaron Murphy's story. It's my, day, it's my first day back in the in the <laughs> studio. I'm really excited. I'm sorry, everyone. No, it's okay. I um, no, I no, you. I love you too. But uh, yeah, what I was saying with the, I thought as a kid genuinely that when I grew up, I would be allowed to have drinks that all came in stubby bottles, because all the grown ups around me did, and so I'm really happy that now as an adult I get to enjoy it. So and uh, Molson Sweet. Canadian has come out with like retro bottles too of stubbies. So, really? Yeah. So. Not it's not just for grape juice for kids anymore. No. What kind did you open? Raspberry? Raspberry. Okay. It's not my favorite. I like it. I don't like black cherry artificial flavors of cherry. Unless it's in Coke. Cherry Coke. I love cher black cherry. Yeah, I like that. And it's different than Pick a Pop. So if you're a Manitoban Pick a Pop or Pop Stop. Pick a Pop was a Manitoba brand. Mm -hmm. um, very sugary. Always made my teeth feel like you were fuzzy. Fuzzy teeth. I think we this had really something like Picky Pop in Calgary, but I don't remember what it was called. So if anybody's watching and they know, let me know. I do remember, though, going with my dad to the Bottle Depot, and they had, like, those old-school um, pop machines where you would, like, put the money in and then go, like, <laughs> and pull the handle, and then you'd open it up, and it would release a bottle of pop. And we used to drink RC Cola 
which I also think is an old school blast from the past beverage. It to me tasted kind of like when you buy no name grocery store pop. Mm. That's what RC tasted, but it came in like a tall glass bottle. And then my dad was like, "You can have some." And I was this was like in the olden days when you didn't need a booster seat in the front seat of the car. So I'd sit on my knees in the station wagon, and we're driving, and I was drinking the pop. And I put my tongue in the bottle and it got stuck, but I knew I was going to get in so much trouble. So I just was like <laughs> sitting, there with, sitting there with the bottle, like stuck to my tongue. And then my dad just like looked over and was like, stuck, isn't it? And I was like, yes, yes it is. And then we like hit a bump and went, and like it made this like perfect like sound. So, so that was the last time I had RC Cola. I was probably about five. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. That's Maybe crazy. six. Yeah. Okay. What's the next yeah. flavor? That's uh, black cherry. Are you try having a black cherry? Yeah. Are you having all of them? I'm gonna try we, them all. We're gonna open them all. Well, why don't we? Why don't we share? Because we, 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 I will drink all of this, yeah. but you like this one, so you open I it, love and black I'll cherry. have a sip of it. Black and cherry is my I favorite don't... New York seltzer. We should let everyone know this is not a like we're not affiliated with New York no, seltzer. But we we respect but that you brought it back and we kept it real. And if you want to, you can send us crates of them. Yeah, because the only flavors we found in Canada were these ones, and cream soda. Please don't send us cream soda. <laughs> I'll take it. No, break. we don't want any <laughs> candy floss pink. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. I didn't even try the black cherry. I know. I'm discriminatory. It's I so just light, saw though. the name and I was like, no. It's so good and so mm -hmm. light. It's so delicious. It's lighter than regular pop, it feels like. It's okay, but it kind of tastes like fluoride. What? Yeah, like the puff. So it doesn't have a flavor, though. Oh, yeah, my dad just did. My dad just had, like, 15. He's like, would you like spearmint? Like, cinnamon? Yeah, what did you do with the kids that probably got, like, bubblegum, please? No, I did not. Because bubblegum was too sweet, and it brought me back to the whole cream soda thing. And then it was like, I have a texture thing, and it was like the foam, like, mousse fluoride. So they'd put it in, and then if it tasted... Oh, they got cool things on the inside. Yeah, no, they have, they give you, like, it's like the... Snapple fortune. But kind of. It says, marry your 80s heartthrob, with question mark. Mm. Wedding pick, please. And then and then it has the Twitter oh. handle. Well, well, maybe we'll make a few of these. See, that's why I respect that's you, really New York cool. Seltzer. Because you're bringing back that's a smart. classic, but you're incorporating the new, the new, you know, way of doing things with, like, hashtags and, you know, Twitter handles and Instagram and things. What's the best thing to happen to you? In 1984, Lauren. <laughs> solid foods. <laughs> solid foods. I was allowed foods. to have solid foods. I think the best thing that happened to me in 1984 was getting to see, um, I remember watching Video Hits, it's a Canadian show, and watching uh, the Michael Jackson Thriller video. That was really cool. And I know that was Like the 13 minute long one? Yeah, it was nuts. I don't know if they showed the whole, I think they did show the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, where it's like a mini movie? Yeah. Yeah, who would your uh, 80s heartthrob? Who's your 80s heartthrob? 80s heartthrob. Um, Ted Savage? Mine would be like everyone else's, Alyssa Milano. It's Alyssa Milano. Alyssa Milano. It's because your sister. See, my, my sister is named Alyssa. And the reason and the reason her name is Alyssa is because me and my mom used to watch Who's the Boss? And my mom would see the credits and she'd go, Oh, Alyssa Milano. I like that, Alyssa. Alyssa is really nice. But we didn't, know it was, we didn't know it was pronounced Alyssa. So my sister's name is Alyssa, but it's spelled like Alyssa. But now I say Alyssa Milano. Alyssa, but it's Alyssa. Not my sister. It's Alyssa Milano's name. Yeah. Um, this one says, Real people drink... Original New York seltzer. Real? What? Hashtag real in the house. Mm -hmm. Old people making hashtag signs and throwing out things. He accidentally cool. just offended a gang in South East LA. What? Okay. What is that? That's just like a man walking. That's all that is. That's mm -hmm. Hey, guys. Yep. Okay, we're going to open this this root beer one. That's the one we both beer. have not tried, right? Root beer. I haven't tried it, no. Okay. Ooh, I just love that. Crack. I love that sound. Like old school cups. Okay. Root beer clear, not sure. Not sure. Clear root beer, I'm not I'm not opposed to it. It's better than a lot of the root beers. Yeah. Remember when we had a root beer off? That yeah. would be better than some of them. Maybe we'll put a little bit of an annotation here that says something about the root beer. Check it out. I don't know if we can do annotations and end Yeah, screens. I don't get this one, New York Seltzer, so you're just going to have to explain it to me. Buy a pile of original New York Seltzer today. A pile of New York Seltzer today, I said. 
I don't know that you would buy a pile of bottles. And Maybe it's a New York thing. I would say, like, if you said a pint of New York seltzer, that makes sense to me. That'd be cool if it came on a tap. I'd drink it. I think this is just two goofy guys that were in there like, that's funny. That's funny. They're up too late. That's what it was. Mm. I want to open them all just to see what they say, but I don't want to waste it either because it'll yeah. go flat. It'll go flat. And I don't want to be full of New York seltzer and not be able to sleep. We haven't eaten sh- had anything with sugar. Or... Except for the, a little bit of the Slurpees that Dave brought us today. Yeah, he did. I haven't had sugar in forever. Mm-hmm. But then I feel bad. I don't. It's great. I don't regret. I regret nothing! Well, that's been our uh, breakdown of the New York Seltzer. Go check it out, the mm-hmm. original New York Seltzer. Yeah. Oh, funny story before we end. Well, While I was buying this at 7-Eleven, some like really rough like handlebar mustache, <laughs> somebody's stepdad kind of guy, and he's like, he goes, huh, New York Seltzer? Haven't seen that. Man, I used to drink that in the 80s after I was hungover. <laughs> right? Like that. And I was like, cool. He's like, you? And I said, yeah, my parents drank it. And then he's like, oh, because I offended him. There we go. Because I think he was trying to like, you know, be me, buds. Let me know he was feeling. You could have just, you could have just been like, awesome. I was, yeah, it's delicious. Well, I, I don't know. I wasn't gonna. He had like Zumba pants on and <laughs> and a bar mustache and like he. He's still his wearing Zumba off. pants. That guy's he awesome. He cut his sleeves off his Brooks and Dunn T-shirt. You know. <laughs> that guy's wicked. Anyway. Someone's stepdad. I'm sorry, I offended you. <laughs> Your mom, your friends, mom, Kevin, Kevin the stepdad. Great. Thank you so much, Kevin. <laughs> and the rest of you out there, please subscribe to our channel. Help us thrive. Um, check out other videos uh, somewhere around here. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. I have to get mine open. <laughs> <laughs>